Having the new Aero tool available in 3.2 is definitely a huge time saver when it comes time to general editing. But it's even more amazing when we start working with automation. So let's talk about that for a second. Let's say that I wanted to make an adjustment to this automation here. I'm gonna just use one of the shortcuts from our last video just to zoom into this selection. And let's go ahead and view our automation. Now when we hover our cursor above this line here, you'll notice that we have this trim tool. And just as you might expect, this will allow us to very quickly and easily make adjustments to our automation. So I can go ahead and I can select multiple points here of anything that I wanted to adjust, and I can go ahead and use the bracket tool to do that. Now when we hover the bracket tool over any existing points here that have already previously been created, we can adjust those as needed. And then the really cool thing is we can just swipe across with the arrow tool and we can make global adjustments to all of these automation points. Now, if you're the type of user who's got used to the transform tool and you'd rather work like that, we've got a new keyboard shortcut that's added where we can basically hand off this range selection to the transform tool. So by clicking option T or alt T on a PC, you'll notice that I've created a transform tool based on that range selection that we made. And now we can go ahead and we can make any adjustments that we need using the transform tool instead of the range tool. So if you'd rather work like that, that's an option that we have available. And then of course, we still have all the same shortcuts that we did before to make adjustments to automation nodes. But the benefit of working like this is we really have the best of both worlds now. We can use any shortcuts that we need to get the job done. For example, making a selection across here, moving this down, and then just highlighting this, getting rid of it so I can quickly ramp up this automation. Really powerful stuff. This also comes in handy when we're working with envelopes. So for example, if you're the type of person that would rather work with envelopes as opposed to the automation mode, based on the range tool selections that we've made over here, I can just make a bunch of them over here by just holding down the shift key. The bracket tool is gonna to respond to those selections and it'll do that for multiple tracks. So for example, if I wanted to make an adjustment to these two sections and I wanted to use this audio as the reference, now when I hover my cursor over here, the bracket tool is adjusting this. So really powerful stuff. These new automation features, I think you're gonna love them. Mm -hmm.